Hey guys, Kunal here, Bulls on Wall Street. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to win as a beginner at this life of trading. So there's a handful of things I think you need to incorporate. Number one, it's all about risk management. When you're new, you have limited amounts of capital and you wanna make sure that you don't lose it. So we use a few basic rules to make sure that no one trade ever gets us in trouble. I use a 1% rule, which means that if I take a loss on a stock, I lose 1% of my trading account. Now, that doesn't mean I'm putting 1% of my trading account into a trade, then you need the right millions and millions of dollars to do get anything going. What I mean is if I buy something at 50 and it goes against me and say I sell it at $45, that loss will be 1% of my trading account. And so I size my positions accordingly. If I buy something at 50 and I sell it at 49, I would lose 1% of my trading account. The reason I do this is then I would have to lose 100 trades in a row to blow up my trading account. That's nearly impossible, right? It might be even close to impossible. It would take a lot to lose 100 trades in a row because frankly, even if you were playing heads and tails, most likely you would win 50% of the time. So this is a great rule to live by. The second thing is mastering one trading setup. Guys, in trading, it's a little bit different than life. In trading, you don't wanna be a generalist. Somebody that's like proficient at a bunch of things. I've got a lot of students that have come through my program that tried trading before, that tried 10 different classes. You know, they tried options trading, futures trading, penny stocks, short selling, and they just could never make any progress. And they kept thinking it was the class that they were buying or the information they were consuming. But the real problem was they never became a master at anything in trading. When you're in the trading world, you're competing against the smartest and most well-capitalized people in the history of the earth. And so you have to become a master at something. Even if it's just this small corner of the stock market, your little corner, you own that corner. You're the master of that corner. And it's you know one one millionth of 1% of the stock market, but that's yours you're going to make money as a trader and have a darn good living. So become a master of one and then you can add upon it. The third thing, follow big trends. Don't become a scalper. What I mean by following big trends is if you look right now at stocks like NVIDIA, SMCI, MU, there is so many stocks that are just going up and up and up. In bull markets, stocks tend to rise with very little fluctuation. You know, I've been in the stock VST and I rode that thing from $20 nearly to $100. It had very, very little dips. There's no point of selling for one penny here, two pennies here, and micromanaging these type of trades when you can actually just follow the trends. Too many people get cute and they try to go counter trend or they try to trade in and out, in and out, instead of holding for the real move. In our classes, we teach, of course, day trading, but we also teach longer term trend following techniques because frankly, it's safer and can make you just as much money. And then last but not least, find a trading mentor. Whether it's me or somebody else or just a friend that's a trading buddy, having somebody you can be accountable to, to share ideas with, to share your hopes and your pain with is a huge thing. But beyond that, copying somebody's trading system and making it your own is the fast track to getting better as a trader quickly. The things that I've been using the last two decades, do you think I really invented these things? No, I learned them from my mentor, Paul Sink, who runs our part-time trading service at Bulls on Wall Street. I was a failed trader till I met him in 2006. I've been trying for years to get better at this to no avail because I didn't have the proper systems and mechanics to actually do this. And that's what he taught me. And from there, I was on the right path 
to making this my career. So if I'm gonna be new, if you were my son or daughter, these are the steps that I would take if I was telling my kid to get started as a trader. Guys, let me know if you have any questions. Take care.